Hey Aries and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general tarot reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the reading here is intended for Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. We'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and see what messages are coming in for you here, guys. <clears throat> okay, you have the Page of Swords. Two consecutive numbers, seven and eight. Uh, sorry, no, not two consecutive numbers. Um, the number eight here has appeared twice. You've also got two pages. From what I can see, you definitely have someone here who has been thinking about reaching out. Okay, this person has been thinking about, they've been considering making a move, considering finally making some contact some communication here this is an energy that feels like they're a little bit confused though, though sorry there's inner turmoil okay with the page of swords i feel like this is someone whom they've been checking keeping tabs on you so this is someone who i feel like uh checks is either doing like a google search or maybe you guys are linked on social media and they like to see they constantly like to check in and see what you're posting um what you've been up to what you're doing so this person is sort of keeping tabs on you i feel like for some reason this could be a uh, romantic energy that has pulled away in the past this could be someone whom you've ended things with it could be someone who's ghosted you it's likely to be someone who's walked away from you it's likely also to be someone who sort of just ended things abruptly whether it was their initiation here or whether things just ended between the two of you and this person just you know distanced themselves emotionally i can see that recently here this person has been thinking about you a lot and they've actually been considering here reaching out and communicating with you they have been sort of um, holding themselves back from what I can see with the Page of Swords and the presence of the moon. There is a lot of confusion. I feel like this is someone who is composing a text message and just as they're about to hit send to you, they stop themselves, okay? And they reread it and then they reword it and then they panic and they think, okay, well, what if, the, you know, you don't receive it or what if you don't respond to it or what if you don't read it? What if you don't see it for whatever reason? This person is like, really in their head about them trying to reach out to you or them even trying to make a move to you they've been giving this a lot of thought it definitely has been you know marinating in their mind here whether or not to contact you whether or not to reach out to you this person could also be a little bit hesitant because they're scared because of how they left things with you in the past so if they did ghost you they're not necessarily sure how they're just going to come back and try and make amends okay whether or not you will be responsive to their energy whether or not you'd be willing to entertain this or even hear their side of the story so this person i also see someone who tends to avoid conflict so in a way they don't want any drama or they don't want anything to escalate but at the same time they're there's something there like this person feels there may have been a missed opportunity or they want a chance to maybe revive a connection to reconnect or even just to catch up and see how you're going if you're open to the possibility of even staying on as friends. So someone here I feel like is strongly considering making a move. Someone is um, strongly considering about contacting you, about reaching out to you. But I can see that they're nervous with the Page of Swords. I can see that there's anxiety in their energies here with the Moon card as well. They're scared, okay? A lot of fear in their energy. Now, they could just be prone to depression and anxiety disorders. 
but I also feel like this is their reaction to them communicating with you. So something tells me that things between you in the past have been really complicated or they didn't really go things about they didn't really go about things the right way. So this is their nervous energy now telling them whether or not they should connect with you. So they're sort of disputing with themselves. They're sort of trying to fight their feelings or they're trying to reason with themselves here. I feel like at the end of the day, because pages here are messengers, I do feel like there will be contact, there will be communication, but it's going to take a little bit more reasoning with themselves from what I can see. I feel like this person keeps going back and forth in their head about it until finally they just, you know, will rip it off like a band-aid and just hit send or make that phone call or, you know, send you that DM here. It's finally going to take place, but you probably wouldn't, without you necessarily realizing, um, it may just seem like a simple text to you, but best believe that behind the curtains, this person has given it so much um, thought, a lot of thought. So a lot of anxious energy with this person, but I do see a uh, connecting energy here, someone from the past, someone who I feel like this person has a lot of, they either have a lot of issues here, okay, now this person may, I'm seeing that there's some emotional trauma or even emotional triggers here that have surfaced around this person recently, um, or in the time when the two of you disconnected, but I see this person coming back here. I feel like they have been working on themselves and I feel like it's taken them a long time to um, either get closure on the situation. So if you're the, look, if the tables are actually reversed and if you're the one that's walked away, then this person was definitely hurting. They may not have chased you, um, not in the way that you wanted them to, or you feel like this person, you know, gave up so easily, but that's not the case. They pulled away to do a lot of inner work, okay, and to process their emotions. So they've had a hard time between this distance that's occurred between the two of you. But I do see a, a message coming in from this um, individual. It does feel like a younger energy, or it does feel like this person is a little bit less experienced when it comes to relationships and connections here. So they still have a long way to go, a lot more growing and learning, but they're getting there, guys. So definitely someone whom I feel like you've had history with, you had a connection with this person, you guys had something going, and for the most part, it was something good. But I feel like the reason why this person pulled away is because there's out of fear or out of like an anxiousness or anxiety or even insecurity. So those got the better of them. I feel like this person, their feelings for you started to grow real. Things started to get really real for them. And it wasn't until it got to that point that this it, it scared them off. The fact that they just, you know, they realized they were catching feelings for you. And the fact that they realized this could be something serious, that in itself scared them off. But now that they went away and did some thinking, I feel like this person, they've undergone a personal transformation and they've undergone some transitioning in their life. So I feel like this person is in a better place emotionally. So hence why when they will connect with you, they'll be a lot more communicative, they'll be a lot more expressive and it'll feel like they have a lot more maturity with them. Okay, there's like this renewed sense of energy with the presence of the death card here so someone who's walked away here maybe this person thought that you know there were greener pastures elsewhere or maybe this person thought that they wanted to keep their options open or you know for whatever reason um they've walked away here they definitely i feel like are wanting they have this strong desire to come back and to reconnect and hopefully give this connection another go because you have the aid of ones and this is a card of you know movement a lot of movement a lot of communication a lot of progression so i definitely see a shift in their energies for the better so someone comes back and it feels like this time around they're a lot more ready here guys and i feel like this you guys are gonna in terms of the attraction and the passion you guys are gonna pick up where you left off there's definitely a connection that exists between the two of you Okay, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.